A new Royal Navy Logistics Center in Portsmouth dedicated to crucial maintenance for HMS Queen Elizabeth and wider naval ships and equipment has been officially opened today, providing critical support to the UK's largest and most powerful surface vessels in the Royal Navy, the Queen Elizabeth Carrier QEC, Forward Logistics Center will streamline logistical support for the vessels. The new Hampshire facility will see everything from new light bulbs to critical engine parts funneled through the site, helping to ensure that following maintenance the QEC carriers can quickly return to operations to protect and defend the UK's interests at sea. Secured with a £7 million contract with BAE Systems and Francis Construction, the new center is the final project delivered within the 19-year QEC infrastructure program. Beginning in 2003, the program has invested £350 million into the Portsmouth Naval Base and £100 million in Scotland, creating and sustaining at least 550 jobs across the 50-year life of the vessels. Located alongside the base port's carrier berths, the centre was officially opened today by Defence Procurement Minister Jeremy Quinn. Defence Procurement Minister Jeremy Quinn said, The Queen Elizabeth-class carriers are the flagships of our Royal Navy, providing critical at-sea protection of the UK and our allies. Ensuring we can provide quick and efficient logistical support to our Royal Navy vessels is crucial to maintaining our resilience and operational advantage. I'm delighted to unveil a new facility dedicated to serving and preserving our Queen Elizabeth carrier vessels throughout their 50-year lifespan. The facility has been future-proofed to support the UK's Net Zero 2050 requirements. As a result, the roof hosts a photovoltaic array consisting of 678 panels generating 250 kilowatts, with the adjacent car park array providing 1 megawatt energy, comparable to the levels used by several hundred homes. The Logistics Center is also the first Royal Navy infrastructure construction to be net zero in operation. Net zero is the balancing of carbon emitted into the atmosphere and the carbon removed from it. Hitting a nationwide milestone, the facility is also the first building in the UK to be built using rigid inclusion. This sees structural columns embedded in the ground to reinforce organic or weak soils leading to less disturbance, better ground settlement and faster delivery with greater quality control.